All right, more news here. USA and Mexico, they don't have to play quali qualifiers, but they do have to play sometime. And it looks like they're gonna play each other in a friendly. This according to reports out of Mexico, I think first was record. Game set for April in Arizona. Notably, it'll be played outside of a FIFA window, which means both rosters likely to be MLS and Liga Mekis dominant. So sad, so sad, we won't be seeing the European players. Herc, USA and Mexico usually means the world. What about this game? Is it something, nothing, or everything? It's nothing in terms of expectations, in terms of espectáculo, in terms of uh, what it can give you, uh, just to the naked eye. Why? Well, it's MLS, U.S. Men's National Team versus Mexico, Liga MX. Now, if you want to see the best versions of both, you're not going to see a lot of MLS players in the U.S. Men's National Team. In fact, uh, let's use the England game, for example, there was zero Major League Soccer players versus England. It was an all-European team. And if you want to look at Mexico, on the flip side, the European players are few and far between versus Saudi Arabia, a must-win game. It was seven Liga MX players at the time. So it's a stark contrast in what you're going to get and what it actually means for the programs. That's why it's everything. But if I'm spending my hard-earned dollar, mm. sure, it may be crest versus crest, but it's not actually the best versus the best. Agreed. Agreed. This is going to be what? B team versus B team? C team versus C team, maybe? I don't know. I think it's more I think it's more B team versus C team. Okay. Who's B we getting? Mexico's. And we're getting the US C team. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. Stadium holds about 70,000. How many think will show up? Because that's the real question, right? We can say it's, I, I believe it's nothing, but somebody I, will I think show up. You think sell it'll out. sell out? I think it'll sell out. Wow. And now, the one thing that because Mexico FMF, fans will go see a Molero. The one US thing that fans FMS, haven't proven well, that they're Molero fans yet. Well, they don't January have to. camp games they don't, don't sell have to. Out. You didn't. You didn't ask if Major League Soccer fans or or U.S. Men's National Team fans will fill this out or sell this out. You asked if it would sell out. Mm -hmm. Yes, because of the Mexican fans. FMF does a very good job of selling nostalgia. They do a very good job. The Mexican national here in the states, who's a resident, who's a citizen here in the states, of attracting that. Consumer, because of the nostalgia, because of the stark or the, the strong ties to their homeland, and it's a party. So this is why this is why these fans often go to the concentraciones, the hotels where these players are at, where the Mexican national team is at, knowing it's a C team, or they should know it's a C team, and ask where Chucky Lozano is at, ask where Raúl Jiménez is at, <laughs> ask where Chicharito's at. This happens. They sell and they sell well. Uh, you think ticket prices will reflect the fact that it's a, a B C team? You oh, think they'll yeah. cut us a break? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, I think that's what upsets me the most is, is that the ticket prices will still be like, this is A versus A. And honestly, Herc, I'm really starting to get annoyed with these, these friendlies. This is not the first USA-Mexico friendly we've had. We don't need friendlies between these two teams. I know you always talk about the one in 2012 in Azteca because it had its historic significance to well, you. Well, that's different because it was the Azteca. It was different. It was different. Also, it was over a decade ago. With yeah. the amount that these two teams are playing now, we don't need these friendlies. Not only does it water down USA-Mexico, which is a great rivalry, it's going to water down everything else in that space, which is MLS versus Liga Mekis. This is just another version of that. And we're starting to see that in so many competitions, Herc. At some point, we're going to get sick of it, right? Yeah. Uh, what I will say is they've been memorable. You go back to the last time they played in Arizona. I think it was Jimmy Conrad off the header, and it was Eddie Johnson, uh, Landon Donovan. It was uh, Osvaldo Sanchez swiping mm -hmm. at Eddie Johnson. And then you go ahead, I think it was the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Yeah. It was actually a college student who debuts for the uh, U.S. men's national team versus Mexico, that being Jordan Morris. So uh, there are some moments you remember in this history when they aren't the A versus A team. That said... I don't need to see it. I don't, okay. need to, I don't need to buy it. USA versus Mexico then tentatively on the books. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.